Hello, I'm Richard Heldoppler. As president of William Patterson University, I meet alumni every day. I'm always impressed by their accomplishments and pursuits and their interesting and fulfilling lives. And yes, their unwavering display of pioneer pride. While each individual alum has a unique story, what they share in common is their beginning at William Patterson. Here they were inspired and challenged by faculty, introduced to new ways of thinking, participated in career building activities, and forged lasting relationships. I'm excited to introduce to you some of our remarkable alumni through a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation. Today, I am pleased to welcome Michael Blizzard, a 2007 graduate of William Patterson University. In addition to earning a BA with a major in English and a major in psychology, Michael completed a biopsychology honors program track. After graduating, Michael went on to earn a master's of science in clinical trials management and recruitment sciences at the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey. He then earned a second master's of science degree at Union Graduate College at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York. This master's was in bioethics with a specialization in research ethics. Michael's professional career has centered in the medical research field. He is currently the director of research operations at the Urology Center Research Institute in Inglewood, New Jersey. In this capacity, he is directly involved in clinical trials in other research projects, overseeing protocols, compliance review, data management and analysis, budget, patient relations, and much more. Michael, I'm so glad to have you on campus with me today. Well, thank you. Um, I'm just trying to sort of take in the moment here. It's not like every day where an individual will just sit down with the president of a major university, so I'm just honored to be here. We're happy to have you. So tell me how you came to attend William Patterson. Well, I started my journey back in 2002. Um, I was what they call the non-traditional student, having worked several years in the uh, clinical research arena. So I had my uh, number of options about schools that I wanted to attend. Did I want to stay in Brooklyn, New York, where I used to work at? and go to John Jay College over there at SUNY Downstate or come back here. And during that time, William Patterson, it was actually a college at that time. So I live about 10 minutes from here. So I'm saying, oh, you have this university right in your own backyard. It makes sense. So 2002 was the year when I started here. Well, there you go. So what's your favorite memory of William Patterson? That question right there is, is tough to answer because there were many moments. So let me just try to summarize as best as I can. One moment was the Honors College Talent Show. This is where I brought faculty in, Dr. Uh, Robert Benno, who's retired now. He was a biology professor. Dr. Donald Vardaman, he was a psychology professor, and other students. And um, so I put on the Honors College uh, Talent Show as a direct result of the honors program becoming a college. So we did it in Hobart Manor. So here it is, Dr. Benno, he walks in, the, walks in the room now. I didn't know what he was going to do, but he plays the piano. So he played all of me. And um, so before he got, actually started, he said, look, Michael, I'm going in the gallows with you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Vardaman um, from the psychology department, he did a um, piece. Um, I can't recall the piece now, but he did a poem and I did one as well too. So it's very interesting and I understand I'm a time factor but if it's okay could I recite the poem that I read? Sure. Heather? This is entitled The Pond. Leave it to beaver that lives in a pond with a swan and deer fawn and a gritty garter snake with the squirrel that twirls seen dangling from a limb. The red robin that's throbbing, throwing off for blue jay. From its trees feel the breeze, hearing geese overhead. Heard a shot, then I stop, then stoop in my canoe. With a jingle that made me tingle, someone screaming, timber. Felt the thump, then I jumped as the tree came crashing, 
looked around and was abashed by seeing the pond bear. So I recited that at the um, talent show. And the great thing about that was is we raised um, between, I think, 100, $100 or $300 at that time for breast cancer research. So it was a very phenomenal event. So that was one of them. The Honest That's College great. Coat Drive, I believe you were there when you yeah. just came, when I was, um, you know, um, celebrated at the, you know, at, the, at that event. So you were there, which the Honest College Coat Drive actually turned into a curriculum and civic engagement as a direct result of the Honest College. So that was great. And the last one was, was um, well, I had a room because I did research in the science building. I was always there. So the Honors College, I had a room, I had a little office there. And then in the atrium, the writing center, I was a regular at the writing center as well too. So those three moments being in multiple places was just amazing. The poem is lovely. If the medical thing doesn't work out for you, voiceover work is in your future. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your career path and your aspirations going forward. So right now I'm pursuing my doctoral degree in clinical psychology. I always wanted to get this particular degree um, because when I graduated in 2007, the chatter was, hey, Mr. Blizzard, what can you do with a degree in clinical psychology? So what happened was that um, the late founder of Psychosocial Oncology, Dr. Jimmy Holland, I read one of our abstracts recently and was hooked. So now I'm pursuing this doctoral degree in clinical uh, psychology and my future aspirations to be a licensed professional providing uh, optimal care for oncology patients. So tell us a little bit why you give back to William Patterson both in terms of your time and and philanthropy. I was a 2004 Legacy Scholarship recipient. Now remember the thousands of students that go to this university. I was selected out of one of the nine at that time in 2004 which was a pretty cool event. It's pretty prestigious. And I often donate every year to the Legacy uh, Gala because I'm, a, I'm actually in the Legacy Hall of Fame. So after that moment, I knew that this was really serious, that I knew that I have to give back, not only financially, but also of my time as well. Thanks, and we appreciate your support. Mm -hmm. So um, very quickly, give us one person who it impacted you at William Patterson University? There's not one person. There, I mean, not just person. We're talking about several departments. That's how many people is. Um, well, tell us what the departments were. Biology, psychology, and English. Right. Okay, so we're going to conclude with something we like to call the lightning round. Okay. And I'm the eighth president, so we're going to stick with eight <laughs> questions. Um, and some are about your time at uh, William Patterson, but some are about your life right now. Right. Quick, short answers, okay. and the questions will come quick. Okay. So what would the title of your autobiography be? Encore. Encore. What was your go-to meal as a student? Snicker bar. <laughs> Favorite study spot? <laughs> <laughs> Science and Richmond Center. <laughs> You're naming a new pet. Would you name it William or Patterson? Patterson. Okay. You're buying a new sweater, black or orange? Both. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> what was your toughest class at William Patterson? Behavior genetics. What, what would be the best piece of advice that you would give today's students? Find and fulfill your destiny. That's a great ending. Thanks for playing and thanks for taking time out of your busy day to come and spend some time with us at William Patterson. You're, You're one of our great success stories and we're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.